Hello and welcome. Today we present you this bad boy, the 2006 Audi A6 that we have actually the ones you might make over here. Now, if you do tell us more about it, since it's yours. So, it's an Audi A6 C6 from 2006 with the 2 liter TDI engine. It's a sedan form. For more of a usual vehicle. German grey, as you can see. German grey, you say? And also yeah. goes for a little bit of a darker grey for the rims right here. No, 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 no. Dude, these, these are Felgrau rims from the famous German style helm. You know that everyone here in Eastern Europe, when they roll up in one of these cars, they think, oh my god, the big business has arrived and everyone loses their shit. But this is actually a decent car, it's, com it's comfy. It's com Mercedes level of, of comfy, if you like. If you like yeah, actually, the right quality is pretty nice. The trim, the chrome trim I see, goes all the way from the front to the back. And that's yeah, match. I leave it like this because I like it like this. Some people make this black. Yeah, well, black looks as an absolute tra like an absolute travesty. I mean, if it's right. silver, well, if it was completely black, yeah, it would make a bit of sense. But otherwise, this is a travesty. You don't paint chrome black. Go exactly. all the way. Exactly. No. Only if the car is black. With everything blacked out. If, if you want to black out the car, you just don't do that because at night you ain't gonna have any visibility. Yeah, right. You ain't gonna have any visibility. I know that. But who needs visibility, yeah. alright? The reason I bought this car is actually this shape right here. You see? It starts over here, it goes over it here. It closes off in the back. Yeah. Yeah, so this triangle right here really makes it for me. It adds to the visibility of the car. Well, if it's this long, you really need a driver for it, and especially a midget, because oh, if, you see, you. if you see right, in the, right behind them, the seat is going to be all the way front, uh, forward. You're going to have plenty of leg space if you have legs. Right. Now, that was a, that was a bit unhinged, but anyway. Now, the rims, I see there are 16-inch rims. Which I suppose... Yeah, they used to be a lighter shade of grey But uh, they keep on getting dirty and I didn't like that So I had to make them a little bit darker Well, you did a top job on them Because you restored them yourself Really top job on it I don't yeah, see any it took scratches me about a week oh, About but a week That's time well spent Time well spent if you say so But I'd rather yeah. have someone else do, do them for me no, 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 no. Nobody <laughs> should touch my car. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah. Now we taped off the numbers just in case. Who needs numbers? Who needs number plates anyway? Right. Now I see you have a double exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust starts off in the middle and it makes a Y. Mm -hmm. and it's double. A double Y. I see yeah. an electric car passing by. That's a hybrid, I think. Uh, anyway, that's a hybrid. Okay. Who needs hybrids? Anyway, uh, so you have a double exhaust that with the Y starting from the middle of the car. Kind of like that, yeah. But I Over can't... here we have the typical fuel hatch. Diesel, because everyone here drives a diesel, apparently. But in German cars, it makes a lot of sense for having a diesel. Otherwise, if you put, like in my car, uh, an Italian car with a diesel engine, well, that's a war crime. You don't do that. But anyway, I like it anyway. I like it like it is. Now, uh, let's not diverge. The seals are in pretty good condition for its age. Yeah, you, you ain't got a, pretty good. Ain't got the spot of rust, I see. Uh, she has the spot over here and over there, but well, it's okay. <laughs> let's put it in a good light. Let's put it in a good light anyway. We're not going to progress on that. Now I see the front. The front is in typical German fashion. Well, back in the day at least, it's big and bulky, shows, well, basically shows a lot of face, as I might say. But the, I really, it really itches me off, because where's the aerodynamic part of it? We, we, it? This makes a lot of drag in the front, if you ask me. 
well, it's good for the radiator because it's all the way right here and has a plenty of cooling. But otherwise, well, for me, it just kills it a bit. No, I think it's okay just the way it is because in those days, they all of those car manufacturers made swooping lines. You see? Yeah, I see. Well, the lines are nice. The lines are nice, but what takes me off is the front of it. It's just big and bulky. Typical German fashion right here. In Germany, everything's bigger, I, I suppose. But anyway... We don't know. Suppose. Anyway... We don't care either. <laughs> yeah, we don't care either. Uh, we're gonna get to the driving part of it and it's gonna be a whole other channel. Now, you... Yeah, got fog lights right here. Those are fog lights. Your standard fog lights. The uh, one of the little fog lights. The headlights. They are restored because they need to be as they clear as possible. They need to be restored as, as often as possible. Now, if you'll excuse the background noise... Um, yeah, people I, are driving behind us. Yeah. It's a highway. This is what makes it a bit for me. It makes up for the bulky shape. The logo right in the front, right in the middle, as it should be on any car. But on any car, I think there's not... Uh, it's not always centered on in the front car anyway. This doesn't look like it is. Like, don't judge a book by its cover. Actually, this car has a lot of soundproofing in it. There's actually styrofoam behind the wings and yeah, in the panels some, of the car. Some way over here. Yeah, it goes all the way around. This is aluminum. That is, I don't know. It should be steel. I mean, the steel. Deutsche Stahl. Deutsche Stahl. <laughs> Do you have it here on Deutsche Panzer? <laughs> <laughs> it is a panzer in a way because this is big and heavy. This is not aluminum, this is steel. Actually, well, I suppose it is steel, but actually the soundproofing in it makes it a lot heavier than it actually is. Now, the soundproofing is going to go all the way to the pillars, in the sills, as you can see. Underneath, everywhere. Underneath anywhere. Well, this is a luxury sedan and must be treated like it is. <laughs> actually, the people who drive this aren't actually the most honest to the law. But anyway, I digress. Let's keep going. Now, let's open the hood and see what's under it. Let's see. Mighty 2 liter TDI engine. The Put longitudinally. Well, it's put longitudinally, not transversal. No. And as you can see, a pretty large part of it is in front of the front axle. Yeah. Which kind of sucks when it comes to maneuverability, but well, it's we, okay. We don't need maneuverability, because this is a luxury this is sedan. sedan. This, yeah. this doesn't go fast. It, it is gets you there in the lap of luxury. But, exactly. But the engine is really what makes it a bit... Well, it's a German car with... A diesel engine that makes total sense, but the power unit looks a bit more tinier than yeah. it actually is. So, uh, I changed the alternator mm -hmm. and uh, I changed oh. also the, the beauty EGR. cover. The beauty cover comes off. Let's see, and look at it. This is look how tiny it is. This is the intake manifold. Intake manifold. I changed this part, the EGR. Mm -hmm. I see. You okay. also see, you seem to have the Kelly converter in the DPF. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's As it's it. supposed to be. We're uh, friendly to the planet. I'm not. It's a diesel. I'm not going to comment on that. Anyway, the engine. Look, look how tiny it is. It's your run-of-the-mill TDI German engine. Supposedly, Hodge. 140 horsepower. But <laughs> again, this isn't meant to go fast. Legend has it. It's a few horsepower more. If you say so, I'm not gonna disagree with it. But look, look at it. This is so tiny, so tiny. Tracks a big punch. 
indeed. Look at it. It's so tidy. Compared to my engine bay, this is actually pretty ergonomic because you have your fuel, your uh, air filter right here. The air filter with the intake. Yeah, with the, the intake. For, for my car, you have to get under it to remove the air filter, which is some German practicality right yeah. here. You stand the radiator in front for air cooling. And everything yeah. else. So this, this, what I like here, this is what I like here is that everything is in arm's reach. You don't have to get under the car, you don't need to get over, you need, don't take to need take the bumper off, like in my case. Well anyway. Yeah, on account of that, actually when you change the how how does you, the timing belt, you should take the bumper off of the radiator for clearance issues. But my mechanic uh, did it without taking the bumper off. You, so hats off to them right there. You know how it's in his instrument right now. Uh, I know a guy who can do it cheaper. Well, yeah. you should never chip out on vital things like the timing belt, the accessory belt. You should exactly. chip out on that. <laughs> you should do it at, at properly. Now the beauty cover As comes back on. Said. As you can see, the oil dip dipstick is really nicely brightly colored. And yeah. the, the water filter is all the way back here, which is which That's is pretty nice because it has a filter over here. It has a filter. And stuff like this doesn't even go the, inside. Even the washer bottle has a filter. How German is that? German over yeah, engineering yeah. at its finest, if you ask me. But anyway, the engine is pretty common right here. It goes. You can find it in it's VWs, Seats. In basically everything that has a diesel. Skoda's. It does pretty nice torque. What else? How much, how much torque do we, do we talk here? Uh, 11 I minutes. I don't know exactly. You don't know exactly, I see. 140 horsepower for a big chunky car. This engine is actually a paradox. Look how tiny it is and how chunky the idea. Yeah. Right. I think it's, so, it's going to make car, The car is in 7 speed automatic. Front wheel drive. You've got a automatic auto gearbox in here. Yeah. Right now. Let's see the interior. Let's move on to the interior. Because it's pretty cold outside. Oh yeah. I like the sound the doors make when you close them. Exactly. Do it again. This, this really sounds chunky. This really and sounds heavy. solid and heavy. Yeah. Now for the interior. Let's move let's move on. This and is the key. With opening all lock and unlock. <laughs> right. Lock. Just don't lock us in. I don't want the Dude, alarm to go off. Inside. <laughs> Well, what if the alarm goes off and some truck driver thinks we're, thinks we're stealing it? Mm. Now, as you can see, the gauge Wait. cluster, the gauge cluster is really, well, really in your face. I guess, I can, as I say, look at the central console, all oriented towards the driver. The they really didn't pay any um, any sympathy to the passenger in the right. I mean, yeah. everything is oriented towards the driver. Kind of, it's not uh, like in an alpha, but it's. It's there. It's, it's there, yeah. Now, the let's start with the left door. What do we have Over on the left here door? Here we have lock and unlock. All right. We have the mirror controls, heated mirrors. Heated mirrors as well. Yeah, yeah you, you have that strip. We in have there. over here the buttons for the windows, for the locking of the windows, your handle. Yeah, the standard handle. <laughs> yeah. How are you supposed to get in and get out? Pull a string? <laughs> yeah, like in race cars. Over here we have the um, headlight controls. It's also... off, auto, your <coughs> position, DRLs, um, fog lights and everything Yeah, else. well, it's, it has an automatic setting, so you really don't need to bother with it too much. Now, I the... usually drive like so. Yeah. yeah, you don't need to bother with it. Now the gauge cluster. Let's talk yeah. about it a bit. A bit. Let's talk about Over it. Over here on the left, we have the antifreeze temperature. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, the the spinny on, thing. The, <laughs> the, the tachometer. 
the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spinny thing. Oh, here we have a tube computer with uh, you see the the gear you're in, the range, temperature, outside temperature, range, the gear you're in, mm -hmm. and the CD you're listening to. The CD over or radio, here we have whatever. your standard uh, warning lights. VW's warning lights. Let's say they're pretty I'm not infamous. Sure. I'm not sure if okay. they're in Volkswagen's as well. I'm not really sure. We have the speedo, and over here we have the, the, fuel, the fuel level. level. Right now, okay. let's move on to the center. Here we have the cruise control. We have control. a few buttons you can push. This is the reset button for the computer, trip computer. We have a check button, and over what here, does the, check the lights. Do? It checks the, from for errors for ah, engine. So stuff it's a self diagnostic tool, basically. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Over here, we have an off button for the your standard MMI. Mm -hmm. um, over here, check this out. Mate, no, come, no, come no. check this out. This is interesting. Over there. Now, how, how quirky is that? Here we have the the CD, CD changer, plug. the some charger, which is not the car's charger, if my head. Yeah, it's after. Uh, but... Well, uh, this is plenty of storage. Yeah, it well, is. It, it stores your your papers and whatever you ain't gonna fit any gloves in here let's be honest yeah you can't fit gloves in now why put a handle on it which would be the sensible choice nah but dude you need to it's push cooler a button. that way you need to push a button it's magic it. look yeah no hands Whoa. no hands right now moving on here's the central stack uh with we have your vents, vents. The control Yo, for your air vents. And this that didn't get the on. This didn't like get that. the automatic climate controls and everything. You have to do it manually, like you're supposed to. We have <laughs> over here ESP off, which you ain't gonna ever turn off. Park any anywhere light. Yeah, the park anywhere. Yep. All the hazards that common folk know. Knows over it. here we have your climate controls, cooler and hotter and. Over here, it's for your windscreen, your yeah. down and up, automatic mode I as stand, well. I stand by my, deci my decision. Rear say, defogger. Yeah, the rear defogger. I'm going to stand by my decision here and say that automatic climate control is way better than this. It's, since you don't have to fiddle with it. I mean, it's an automatic gearbox. You don't have to... Be aware of what gear Basically, you're in. Basically, you can drive this car with only one foot. With your one foot. right foot. Well, let's not talk about that because, um, yeah, with the left foot brake incident, since we ended with the mountain yeah, side. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> drop in there. That. We're gonna drop in there that clip. <laughs> yeah. I got a charge. One torch. Păi, bun, să mergem în Și văzui un bolovan mare. Văzui un bolovan mare drum și mă speriai de el. Mai vreți conducă să aflați? Nu se. Dacă nu faci așa la 120 apele. Nu fac, mă, ho. Giseu, conduci cu stângul sub tine. Stângul fus sub mine. Right. Economy. Recirculation, on or off. Well, one thing. Yeah, it's pretty hard to move these when the car is in park mode. You see, yeah. you don't have visibility from from the driver yeah, you perspective. Need... Actually, you could do it better with the car in neutral. Yeah, you see, or you moving have... back. Yeah, it's more ergonomically disabled. Well, the don't Germans know. didn't think of everything here. Guess what? <laughs> Well, guess what? You ain't the you ain't you're not supposed to drive it. You're supposed to have a driver to drive it for you. Over here we have an ashtray because everybody smoked back in the day. Well, why that's not? That's standard in each and every single car. Oh, that, no, that's a day. nice mechanism. Mm, you press again, it closes. That's yep. that's actually nice. Over here we have a the, your attempt at a cup holder. It's not an attempt, dude. It's, it's, a it's an attempt. Pretty good one. It's an attempt at the car, at the, at the cup holder. Oh, you Second have two one. of them. Yep. Well, I'll be damned. Take yeah, a yeah. look. Yeah. Well, this is this is 
so impractical. If you put your cup of coffee over here, you're gonna you're gonna have to adjust the hand rest. So yeah. you're just gonna put oh I put my elbow in the coffee cup. Well, the Germans didn't really think this through. You should have had pop on pop out ones like in other cars. I got yeah. used to it, and I'm pretty <laughs> careful with well, stuff. You get okay. used to it. We have here over here the parking brake, which is not a handle. Yep. Uh, we have from your MMI controls, mm -hmm. MMI knob. We over this, there the, your next track and I might, whatnot. I might say this is really really comfortable, but what can I say about the the this volume, is the volume knob? This is really thought for the passenger. <laughs> yeah, it's for the passenger. You, you you don't have to fiddle with it while you drive, but the passenger can do it for you. Actually, play the play yeah. the stations, cycle the stations. So, and another DJ. thing, another thing I did to the car. Look it, at those trims. Yeah, I see. Those are really look at well those. Made. Yeah. See, Cushy. that's velvet. Yeah, that's velvet. It's. Really... I did that because <laughs> yeah. uh, the original aluminum was scratched. And it was cracked and everything. It, it was. It was looking like crap. Oh. But I made it this way. I see you have speakers in the doors. Yeah, the, the, the defogger the for the wheel. way around. Yeah. The defogger. Yeah. Uh, actually, actually, they thought a bit of the passenger because give us a vent, which is something at least. Yeah. You don't have to bother with it because, well, you don't have a passenger in the right. The passenger really sits in the back. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, now. So, let's see over the here. The It has the a bit of storage. We have with various things. hodgepodge of things. Whatever you like. Whatever you like. It has plenty of storage. It also it adjusts. Goes over here. You can have no hand rest if you really want to. It goes, ah, uh, uh, see, yep. if you drop it here and you have a cup of coffee, it's going to go in the coffee, guaranteed, yeah. if you're not careful. But I don't use this one. I use this one, which is in front of the arm Yeah, rest. but if you have kids and everything, yeah, you can put this away all the way back and you're going to have a coffee cup right there. Yeah. Well, it's, it works okay. It works all right. Now, this is a bit fiddly. I'm not going to touch it again. Let's move on. Uh, the automatic gearbox, as you said before. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, and sport mode. You're always, uh, you're always gonna have it in drive most of the time since you're driving the city. Exactly. But the sport mode is where it really shines, I suppose. Yeah, it's a cruiser. It's like it's a cruiser. You yeah. get to cruise in speed, just like that. Yeah, and you're gonna set on the. Uh, the cruise control, you're gonna set up and everything, and you can just take a breather. But yeah. this is automatic, it's, it's comfortable. It, Over it, that's here what it does. We have your sunshade. Ah, your sunshade, yeah. Which Look at mirror. it. Which has actually support for papers. Your papers and whatnot. Yeah. This also has, has a mirror. Like this. Dang. Well, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much since it is really flimsy. We have your Jesus handles. Yeah, don't forget about the Jesus handles. Every everywhere around, I see you have any. Well, in an Italian in Italian car, you don't need them. Over here, you have your your glass, glass support. Holder. Oh my God! I'll be damned. This is actually a, a top dollar future for me. I really like it. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, the Reading dome lights. Light. Oh, you them. have more your map reading light for the passenger. Yeah. Well, actually, nobody uses maps nowadays, so this is just for illuminating. For visibility. Yeah, for visibility. If you time. search for something at night, you just pop them on, and that's that. Yeah. Now the center console, I I see you've restored it. Like yeah, it's painted piano it. black. It, I kind of I should change it because it catches fingerprints like crazy. Well, you you should. Well, you should uh, lack a little of it, or just make one from wood. That would we'll that see. would be something to make one out of, out we'll of wood. See. We'll see. Now, the knob. What does this button do? It's your back button. You oh. return. Oh, all right. From your menu. Yeah, the infotainment here. system really looks like something. You uh, see over here your. Battery level, oh, air conditioner has... settings, central locking, exterior lighting. What does exterior lighting do? Uh, it has follow me home lights. It's in automatic mode. Okay. When you power off the car, the lights are still on for a few seconds. For a few so or you so. can see where you're going. Yeah, if you are in a dark alley or whatever, or when you leave to 
do some shady business on the alleyway <laughs> so you can run faster. We don't do that kind of stuff over here. Well, it's yep. Eastern Europe, that's what our Westerners think of us. So, now let's show to the people the most important spot in this car, which oh, is yeah. the spot where our cameraman sits. Oh, right. he must be really comfy back there. Now, let's move on. Let's see. We move on to the most important seat in the car, and actually the back seats, or back seat, as you as you may put it. Now, right here I can say I have pretty, the seat is all the way in the back, and I have plen plenty of room for my legs. Since I'm pretty tall, uh, the seat is just adequate. I mean, you can fit, and I still have some room to play in just in case someone smashes the brakes and I move forward. So this is a bonus. Now. Uh, on the other side, where the driver sits, the seat is a bit more forward, and my friend right here has a lot of space for the for his legs. Now you can do this. You can do this all the day. Now, right here in the back, let's move on. We have a central stack with the air vent, actually a cigarette lighter, yeah. which I think I broke. And guess what? We have over here oh, your standard ashtrays. Yeah, for your fat cigars or whatnot. If you want to smoke a Churchill, you can fit it right in. My thumb fits, fits in pretty well. It's not in like, unlike my car, you can actually fit a cigarette butt in here. Now, the also the seat, the seating position, the handle is really nice. Really comes nice in the hand. Yep. Chrome trim as in the front. Everything is chrome trimmed. Yeah, and those are the trims that I talked about. Yeah, the velvet, the velvet touches. Which really make make a quite an impact. Jesus handles, side side airbags, and then what what not. You have a coat hanger. Just if you wanna hang out your fancy suit, you can do it. You have over here. It's quite sturdy. You can put quite a bit of it. Uh, Actually, of you it. have two of those. Yeah, you have one on the other side as well, and right here, same as the other side. Dome lights. If you wanna like read the newspaper while your chauffeur drives you to work in your whatever field. <laughs> now let's turn this off. The headlining is really nice. It's yeah. not stained. I'm not gonna touch it. It's not stained, not uh, really really solid, as you can see. Uh yep. we ain't got any drooping, any sloping or whatnot. Over here in the middle. We have your standard armrests. Your armrest, which inside it's quite a quirky feature. This is a, a Check first that aid out. kit. It's a first aid kit that fits into the. This is the original kit from yeah. the manufacturer. You think it's still good? <laughs> no, it's not. But I keep it as a souvenir. As I a... have uh, another one in the back. Well, this comes in handy because some things never degrade. Which is. No. Medical stuff degrades. So. Well, not all of it. <laughs> We, yeah, we have. Here. We don't have a ski pass yeah, because don't. I don't need it. Actually, yeah. I don't ski a lot, but it's for okay. Me, for me, it would be quite a so, bit of turn off. These are actually three seats. You can sit in the middle. Yeah, there's actually a seat belt for the one in the middle. Yeah. Uh, headrests that move yeah, up and down. They're adjustable. Yeah, they're adjustable, but the, the we have textile material some really space free. over here. As you can see, those are my papers. Yeah, and whatnot. The bag of papers and some random people. Yep. Uh, right here I see uh, the textile material, well it's not leather, we got that from the start, but the textile material is really oh, nice to the touch. I really yeah, like the, te it the is. texture. Actually it's, it's quite a bonus. Awesome. I like the stitching it's, on it. It's quite a bonus since in my car you see it slightly eh, in a peculiar angle. I mean you don't see it like this, you see it a bit backwards, a bit more backwards. But anyway, this these seats have pretty good cushioning look at the cushion. yeah they're nice they have more cushions they really really make it comfy i mean i wouldn't want to have leather in this because in the winter it in would the freeze winter my ass off. yeah and in, in the, the summer, summer you're gonna it off. sweat it, would, it off yeah it would burn it off so it's a win i mean i'm an adept of leather in car in my cars but texting always has a bonus that it doesn't get cold it doesn't get w way too hot so I can freeze, I don't freeze and I don't get cooked, basically. Yeah. Uh, right here we have some storage space. 
the uh, the cover for the trunk. Yep. Your papers, as you said. It's pretty nice. The so seat belts. You said something about the trunk. Yeah. Let's show the people the, the huge trunk. ass trunk of <laughs> yeah. this car. Yeah. Let's see. Again, the sloping roof line. It's yeah, not an A7, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I quite like the sloping right here. It doesn't have much aerodynamic effect, if you ask me. But still, it's something which really, really takes all the boxes. Yeah. Let's open the, the hood. I meant the trunk. And my God, check this is, it out. This is a cavern. I mean, I could get inside of there. You can fit easily uh, two people in here. I'm not gonna comment on that here, just in case. Just in case. Okay. Just in case wrench, your fire extinguisher, which is just in case. Your medical kit. Yeah, your medical. My God, this is a cavern in here. This isn't the trunk, this is a cavern. It actually has an echo. Yeah, it actually has quite a nice echo. Just, we can stuff, um, you don't need this. Now, what is this? Ah, it's a triangle, triangle. Which, which is mandatory here, I yeah. think you have it, but the Over storage space... Over here we have we some... Have some storage as well, this is the battery, it's not in the front as... Uh... For safety reasons, because the manufacturers were um, confined by regulatory people and they said it's way better for the battery to be in the trunk for that acid. Yeah, and... that acid is gonna get anywhere in the front cache, yeah, crash. And... I meant crash, <laughs> but this is room for a full-size pair, I suppose. Yeah, if you take this off, a full-size pair wow. goes in there. A full-size pair, and we also have the pioneering kit, which I suppose it's in here as well, something. Yeah, this opens, but well, leave it, it there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. This is where you'd have your pioneering kit in case you have a breakdown. Plenty of space for tools. But my god, this trunk is huge. I think I could fit in, and I'm actually gonna try it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh my god. We promise we aren't gonna lock you inside. Yeah, well, just don't. No, 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 no. Dude, dude. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> Stop it, dude. Uh, <laughs> well, this is my mate right over here. <laughs> well, now this is some space. Now yeah. This is some space. You can really fit Come really out nicely now. in here. Come on. Uh, even my head fits. <laughs> <laughs> Your big ass head. Even my head fits in here and I'm quite a tall person, I might add. So yeah. what you saw over there was an alpha driver getting <laughs> born. <laughs> yeah, well, I can say I feel personally attacked by this spice right here. You can fit your whole apartment, your whole belongings, your dog, your cat, your pig, whatever, you can fit in here. But still, this is quite a trunk and also soundproof. Everything is soundproof in this car. Yeah, you have the handle. Yeah, the grab handle. Which is nice. Which is nice. Now, in Europe, uh, especially in Eastern Europe, you get this ad saying, oh, it's been driven, driven only by an old lady to the market and back and everything, whatnot. Well, I can say this is being driven by an old rich lady, which is quite <laughs> something else. Yeah. This is being driven by an old rich lady with a chauffeur which really knows his stuff. Now, to the church and back. <laughs> to the church only and back. Only on Sundays. <laughs> only on Sundays, only on Sundays, as it has minimal wear. Anyway, now for the drivability of the car, let's hop right in. Let's hop in. Now let's just, let's just, we go back inside. Now let's just hear it start. The self check, everything, run at the mill. Now that's a, that's something else. <laughs> yep. Now let, let's go. Your reverse. I can't get used to a automatic gearbox for the life of me. Now Put it's it in, in drive. drive. And off we go. Oh, it just chimes for my seat belt. Oh, let's put get, it on. I'm just gonna put it on right here. Right. Now. Let's get on, on the on the freeway or highway or whatever this is supposed to be. And she pulls. 
Yeah, it's really nice for a pull. We go up the speed real quick. Now this is just second. It has seven gears right now. And yeah, we're in drive. Yeah, we're, we're just basically in drive. It has seven gears, eight with the reverse. Well, I don't know if that's can, that can be classified as a separate gear. But as you can see, the interior is completely silent. I mean, we're driving at highway speeds. Everything is silent. I can't, yeah. I can't feel anything even in the seat. Whoa, that's an idiot right there. That's a more than a half. Now. Yeah, the, even the, in sport mode. Yeah, let, yeah, push we're a little bit. Five, we're in fifth speed. Five, fifth gear? Fifth gear, yeah. Yeah, let's move. Yeah, yeah, mash it a bit. It just pulls silently. Now, this is a heavy car. The engine isn't the, the most powerful in it. But it's, yeah, it, it, it's, it's not, not the top so of the line RS model. Yeah. But it's plenty horsepower. Plenty of horsepower for big business. Plenty of touches horsepower. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> that's right we, we don't know. Third, you, you, you'd say horse third in German. Yeah. We, or something like that. Now, in, right, in uh, Eastern Europe, we don't have the best of roads. That's yeah. a given. Now this suspension really feels like it's cushy as hell. It feels soft. It feels well, like it feels you're on something a else. Cloud. Well, the suspension you don't really have to. We go. got here our impatient Bucharest driver. drivers. Yeah, why right here? We have. He didn't even signal. Yeah, he didn't even signal. But that's why you get a, you 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 get. A, separate driver you don't drive this car personally as a daily now since we're here let's talk about fuel consumption why yeah, can you tell us about that pretty good it's about i don't know eight liters per 100 kilometers that's with it. Uh, the trunk full and five people in the car so, so it's okay it's it's all right for fuel consumption it's okay on a long trip man this thing shines. I still prefer a manual gearbox over the automatic one, for even for long trips. Yeah, on a windy road, I'd say. It just adds to the sportivity of the car. Now, this is inc really silent. Compared to mine, this is a bit silent, uh, as I might say. This is really silent. I, I like the ride. I really like the ride in here. So. Yeah, see, that's we why turn I down the defogger because our windows started to fog up. That's why you go for dual climatronic, automatic climate control, and whatnot. Yeah. I really like how, how it feels. Now, the, this, is, this isn't the top of the line model, but yeah, really, those Quattro models they pull. Yeah, but they also have bigger engines. Yeah, those are 2.7, I think, and uh, 3.0 diesel engines and uh, I don't know really some gasoline power 4.2 or uh, didn't they like get uh, a also a petrol engine yeah they have those I turbo they, petrol engines oh yeah I suppose those GFSI feel, something yeah, yeah those really feel nice and punchy the du uh, turbo and a petrol engine is just a yeah. perfect combination but it's really gonna wear down on it i suppose this has a turbo as well but it has the rev limiter at 5000 rpm yeah well it, where it actually ca cuts the injection to the engine but the mileage is really really nice and you can't you can't really hear a thing in here i mean you can we don't even shout even at max rpm we don't even need to shout because this engine is so silent and the sky is so well soundproofed you can yeah. have a normal conversation you can talk on the phone without someone telling you're in the car look it's a highway cruiser it's a highway cruiser basically it's supposed to take you from a to b in comfort not fast i've had i've had a bit of time with it and really um i almost messed up when i was overtaking someone and got back on my lane real quick and the yeah. car just pulled let's a bit very let's, jiffy let's explain that now, I the car is pretty heavy, and when you turn it, it goes. Yeah, it, it wants to stay on that curse that you th there aren't it. there aren't any brakes on this uh, German train. 
Yeah, no. I turned the wheel a bit, a bit too early, and the car just spazzed out a bit. It just got scared. <laughs> I was trying to overtake a, a semi truck just to start from the beginning. I was trying to take out to overtake a uh, semi truck. Uh, my friend was next to me, and uh, I wanted it to pull a bit. Got in, got in front of the truck. I well overtook it and wanted to get back fast on my line. Well, it didn't just do that. It didn't like it at all. It really upset the car. If, if you have jerky moves, if you jerk the steering wheel, the steering wheel, you ain't gonna have a good time. This isn't a sporting car. It's gonna be really bouncy. The suspension is soft, and uh, I almost get, got off the road. Well, the car didn't get off the road actually. Was pretty much a lot, a lot of road left. But yeah, don't have the jerky moves. Don't, don't do something nasty with it. It's in, but it's not gonna like it. Now, again, back on the road. It's actually it's a pretty nice road, though. But if I do say so myself, it's a fine road. It's been restored back in the day, a lot of times. But the, it's still a bit coarse. Uh, now, uh, as, I, as you can see, the car is really nice and quiet. I really do dig that about the engine doesn't make a lot of noise. It's a small engine. It's a big car. It's not underpowered by any means, but it's not really, really pushing so hard as it should, right? If you have, she's okay. Yeah, yeah, she's okay. She's okay. We ain't gonna go drag racing or something like that, but she's okay for a highway <laughs> cruiser, like I said. For a highway cruiser, indeed. But this is a, we have to say you can negatives. take your mates, your wife, your your, your girlfriend, pig, your dog, your cat, <laughs> whoever else, your parents, everyone. You can fit them in and go for a long drive. Even in the trunk, you can fit someone. I mean, as we previously demonstrated. Like I said, we don't do stuff like that. Oh yeah, but you think it may be a, uh, a has, how should I say a requirement in Germany so you can <laughs> to fit someone in the trunk? Uh, I think in Italy it's a requirement. <laughs> there should be a requirement to fit people, uh, fit an average height person in the trunk, <laughs> so the car gets. Yeah, in the states they have that handle. Yeah, oh, pull. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to show the shrink. Yeah, if you get locked into the trunk by mistake or you were cleaning the trunk, if you climb then you're short and actually a gust of wind suddenly blows and closes the trunk. Well, if you're not, it's actually a shrink that you pull that releases the trunk, which is actually pretty, pretty neat. They thought of it. Yeah. So, so you don't lock in some, if you don't get locked in. So people don't kidnap you. Also that. <laughs> <laughs> so people don't kidnap you. <laughs> um, like I said, I drive it with only one leg. My right leg is currently on the go pedal and also we have a huge ass stop pedal. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle. If you panic, you can really put the both legs on the... Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna the... end up in the windscreen. Look at this idiot. Look at this moron. Oh, he wasn't actually a she. He was a she, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well... Speaking of brakes. Speaking of brakes, we have some of that. We do. <laughs> we do. Well, let's get back into the park and see the brake, how the brake works. If you really get panicked, you can press both legs. But otherwise, if you don't, if you don't have the seat belt fast, and you're, you're gonna fly through the windshield, which is not ideal. Which is not ideal, but still better in the windshield than you anything else. You can do your transformer impression or Iron Man or Superman <laughs> yeah, impression. Yeah, you can really say your Iron Man right there. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, the comfort is there. It really takes off all the boxes. It does. It's a pretty good cool all-rounder. Yeah, it's good go arounder And actually, compared to my Alfa Romeo, this turns tighter on the spot than, than my two-door coupe. This actually turns tighter on the spot. And I German was German engineering. And I was like, are you serious? This this limo turns tighter than my car in narrow spaces. Because as the road is. You can do a full 180 right here, from right here. You can do a full 180, a mine can't. 
it's, it feels like it doesn't have the the, steer, the steering rack uh, length, as I'd say, uh, to do it. If I if I butcher this, I'm sorry, but it doesn't have the rack. Now, full brakes, let's go. No, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> no, braking is smooth, the gearbox shifts like a dream. You can't, you don't even feel the gearbox shifting. Actually, I lifted the foot off the gill pedal and she goes. She just goes, as Todd Howard said, it just works. Now let's go a bit further. It just works, as, as, as Todd Howard said. Really smooth, even on this something, something. Tarmac. Tarm this isn't tarmac. There's my card, here she goes. Now, uh, I was saying about the gearbox. The gearbox, it, does it have a limited slip diff? I don't know, actually. It does feel a bit. Uh, like a torque steering attempt right there, but I'm not I sure if it has know. any. Maybe quattros have it. I don't know. The quattros are the real, real deal. I really like the quattros. In this, if it had a four-wheel drive system, it would be even punchier than it actually is. Yeah, actually, a four-wheel drive, it's pretty nice. I've took it to 2,000 meters of altitude on Transalpina Road. Um, in full winter conditions, snow, ice, mud, everything. Mm -hmm. And she went... She went beautifully, okay. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's where the, the automatic gearbox comes in. It's really comfy on during winter. Yeah. You don't have as much slippage as you would have. If, if you have traction control on, you wouldn't have so much slippage as a manual. Because in the manual you can just mash it in any gear and lose traction. If you mash it in this one, you're gonna have to wait a while for the torque to get to the wheels. So we hope you like it. We'll see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves and take care of your cars. <laughs> bye bye everyone. Bye bye and see you next time. Have a good one. <laughs> this is something. Come else. on, Alex, do your thing. I'm not gonna get in the trunk again. <laughs> do it, mate. I'm not getting in the trunk. Yep. Again. I do it! Painful as hell. I almost got my 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 hands in the trunk. I'm not Come on, my do your I'm thing. Not gonna do it again. Don't be. Don't be a. Yoga class.